Hi, Cal from BHP UK. The sun's come out today, but it's absolutely freezing in Burnley. We've got a, an 883 in today. I'd just like to show you our stage one conversion. <laughs> right, so we finally managed to get the bike running. It's a little bit embarrassing, but uh, that's how life goes. And uh, we've done the stock runs on it. We've do a whole batch of runs on it really to see what the bike's doing as standard and as standard the bike at wide open throttle is making just short of 44 brake horsepower we can see it's a little bit lean at the bottom and a little bit rich at the top one thing i absolutely love about uh, a wind pep 8 uh, is the fact that you can put everything into a grid view here and we can, from that we can analyze what the bike is doing at pretty much every throttle opening so along here we've got the rpm and along the top we've got the throttle position sensor and this we can tell what the air fuel ratio is doing at that point because i don't have a life outside of the dyno room i'll put all that data into a spreadsheet and then you can really analyze exactly what the what the bike's doing and when it's doing it and from that data we can come up with a strategy as to how we're going to tune the bike right so we've got the the stage one kit fitted that uh, comprises of the short shots and an open filter. Uh, we've got that on now, we're ready to run it. We'll run it on the dyno and see what it does. Right, so we've got the, the data in from the, uh, the runs with the Stage 1 kit fitted. And we can see here, it's the bike's running dangerously lean, really, uh, without any other mods to the ECU. Uh, there's no remaps on this, this is the stock map that comes from the factory with the Stage 1 kit fitted. And as you can see here, it gets really, really lean at 2,500 RPM. We were 18 to 1 on cylinder 1, and on cylinder 2, just short of 3,000 RPM, we were at 18 to 1 again. It does reach up again, and it does come back in with intolerance at some points, but it's, it's too dangerous to ride as it is. Uh, you could really do some damage to your engine at that. So let's see what we can do with some mapping now. So we take uh, uh, the reading off the original ECU using an ECU reader and we import all of that data onto our PC to look at. Predominantly what we're going to be playing with is the uh, map for the injection. Uh, this is the map for the injection that gives you across the top we've got uh, throttle position and down here we've got the RPM. So all of these values need to be corrected to make the bike run right throughout the rev range. So it's not just a simple case of doing a couple of tweaks to it. We're going to have to do quite a lot of runs on the bike, test, probably do the wide, wide open throttle first, get rid of the big lean spot that we had uh, lower down in the rev range, and then go back and work on all the, uh, uh, all the partial throttle openings. Once we've got all of that data right, we put it back in and then we test it again to make sure it's running as it should be doing all across the rev range and that heavy throttle opening. Right, so we've come up with a modification for the uh, fueling. We've uploaded that onto the programmer and we're going to program that back into the Harley. Connect the programmer into the diagnostic socket and just follow the prompts on the screen. That's taking the program now. Time to run it again. See what kind of mod uh, see what kind of results we get from that. So we've done a huge number of runs there, a huge number, a huge number of mods, uh, and we've come to to the to the end result. Again, we've overlaid 
all the runs on top of one another at different throttle openings, uh, all the way across, all the way from 10% throttle opening to obviously wide open throttle. And we've got it to a point where we're really happy with it. That's your air fuel ratio for your front cylinder, that's the air fuel ratio for your rear cylinder, and we've got them pretty much exactly where you want them. We've made a good power gain. The video guys are going to do some stuff now that'll show you exactly how much you've gained. The power's gone up from 43.8 brake horsepower to 56.8 brake horsepower. Again, a 13 brake horsepower at the back wheel. That equates to 30% extra power. The torque's gone up from 47 foot-pounds to 52 foot-pounds at peak output. We've got rid of the, the flat spot at 3,500 RPM and higher up in the rev range at about 5,000 RPM. We've gained about 10 foot-pounds of extra torque. This plot shows the modified bike with the power against the torque just to make sure that the two figures cross over at 5,252 RPM just to make sure the dyno is all calibrated and the dyno runs are all good. If you'd like any more details please just get in touch with us. If you've got any comments please drop them in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.